Hey YouTube, how is it going today? Well, these lower price stocks are still red hot. So in this video, I want to go over some of our current positions, um, what we were looking at when we got into them and how they are performing. And then I want to get into some very nice tradable charts as well. And plus, I'm going to answer a few of the questions you guys left on my videos. So uh, make sure you stick around for those as well. Now, if you're new to my channel, I like to invest and trade in typically lower price stocks and talk about all other things finance related as well. If that's something that interests you, please consider subscribing so you don't miss any future trading or investing ideas. But please remember, I am not a financial advisor, so please do all of your own research before investing in any of these stocks. All right, everybody. Well, I'm going to get right into the charts. I hope you're all having a good Monday so far. Chances are, if you're holding some of these lower price stocks, you probably are because these things are absolutely on fire. Um, in my last video, I was talking about how the market could be like shooting fish in a barrel for the next few days to maybe even the next few weeks. And that's what it's looking like already because you can just feel the feverish pitch that is just uh, starting to engulf the stock market. I mean, there's just a frenzy of buying and some of these lower price stocks are being are some of the biggest beneficiaries of it. But this one we're holding, it's uh, Sensionics Holding Incorporated, ticker symbol S-E-N-S. -S. And uh, not to sound like a broken record, but just another absolutely beautiful pattern pattern um pretty much holding that eight period exponential average perfectly and then getting that nice move up and is now it is uh slingshotting higher it is up about 15 percent as we speak um this trading day is still going on so it's going to move around a little bit but sensionics is up very nicely for us next one i want to go into is i'm going to go in through these really quick and then i'm going to get into some of those other charts that um i think uh have a pretty good chance of going higher that um they haven't really taken off yet but the next one I want to go into is Barnes and Noble. If I can get my software to work, there we go. B E B N E D. Um, I still have that uh, triangle consolidation pattern uh, drawn on my chart that it was breaking out of when we first got into this, and um, right now it is up another four percent at the moment, up to about seven dollars and eighty-eight cents. So just a beautiful move off of this eight period exponential moving average and moving higher and uh, tons of volume coming in so it looks like this could be a nice uh, healthy steady uptrends for barnes and noble education um, just a very nice uh, formation and you can see this trend starting to accelerate as it uh, is the the trajectory is starting to go straight up so we could be getting into a little bit of a blow-off phase some of the biggest gains might be uh still coming up for barnes and noble even though it is a little extended at the moment um another one that we are into is syn um syn actually let me get this stuff out of here real quick it actually broke out um and then when the market had the big reversal it broke back down into that pattern now um i continued to hold this stock because it didn't trigger my stop loss and it looks like it is starting to build momentum and uh, potentially be taking off now and now that the market is getting healthier um i think this one has a very good opportunity because it looks like it is just starting to break out right now. So if it can hold over a dollar um, for today, that's gonna be my confirmation of the breakout. And uh, even though I'm already in this one, that just makes me either want to add to it or it's just uh, makes me feel better about being into it because the chances of it um, continuing this uptrends have substantially increased. Um, but the next one I wanna go into is one that we are also in, SLRX. SLRX had a very healthy breakout. We're in this one for about a dollar thirty-one. I actually bought this one as it was riding the eight-period exponential moving average up just before the breakout. So I kind of uh, jumped the gun a little bit early on this one because it kind of felt like um, it was going to be breaking out soon, and that's exactly what has happened. Um, if this thing can hang around here until this uh, white line catches up, I'm probably going to add a little bit more because you can see all of the volume that is coming in. It's just uh, probably going to make this a nice uh, 
healthy uptrend once this line catches up to it uh, probably give us another move up so slrx in my opinion is uh it's a little extended but um if it can hang around these highs until that moving average catches up i think that could be another great buying opportunity and i might be adding more if that happens well another one we are holding on to is hnrg actually been holding on to this one for quite a while um but it had a nice gap up a couple days ago and it is holding that gap you know it had some very nice volume came into that gap and um, even though it didn't accelerate immediately it is still holding um, this gap so far hasn't filled it just yet but if it can hang around this level around a dollar seventy to a dollar eighty until that line catches up I think there's a very good chance this one is going to have that next leg up that that should give it the uh, the boost that it needs to bust out over two dollars a share so HNRG is a uh, Definitely a good looking pattern at the moment, and, and I am sitting tight holding this one. Um, another one that we are holding is CSLT. Um, CSLT is a little bit more of a head scratcher. I mean, this thing has tried to get going um, a couple times. Um, we bought it when it came back down to this uh, eight period exponential moving average had that breakout and then sold off immediately. Um, I still held on to it, even though Sometimes when this uh, failed breakout occurs, a lot of times I like to just, you know, um, cut it, cut the, the position off and get into a better opportunity. But there's still decent volume coming in, so I'm still holding tight on this one. Um, I'm, starting, I'm trying to give my positions a little bit more leeway and trying to be a little bit more patient with them because this market is red hot and these, mark, and these stocks are already in very nice looking uptrends. So you want to give them um, enough breathing room just in case, you know, they catch fire again because that has been happening a lot with these lower price stocks. But I'm sitting tight in CSLT. I'm not adding any more right now. I'm hoping that um, this will result in a next in the next move up, you know, now that it is hugging this eight period exponential moving average and the 21 period, um, the purple line is also rising with it. I mean, I'm going to go to the 15 minute chart real quick. And um, you can see all the volume that came in after this failed breakout. So um, if it was going to break under 150, that's when I wanted to get out of it. But then it had a nice move up on huge volume. So that made me think, you know, I probably want to be a little bit more patient with cast light health and see um, if this thing can get going again. Right now, it seems like it's still churning, still grinding around. But I think CSLT um, still has some nice potential. So I'm sitting tight on that one. And um our last holding that i want to go over is uu uu i actually don't have this one uh the guys in the patreon have this one um, we traded this one uh several months ago i rode this one up to this resistance area but it blasted right through it and kept going and now it is starting its next leg up those guys in the patreon were keeping an eye on this one and they were watching how um, this pattern was starting to form a nice rounding bottom and then starting to gain momentum to the upside. So um, if we go to the 15 minute chart, we can see that just a little bit better. But a very nice rounding bottom uh, formation and then starting to gain momentum to the upside. Then you got the huge volume coming in, um, breaking this stock out. So I personally don't have this one, but I think a few of the guys in the Patreon have it and uh, they are doing quite well on it. Well, let's get into some of the ones that I talked about in my previous video that are just um, starting to break out. They could be uh, really nice trading opportunities coming up. All right, well, now I'm going to get into some of the ones that I put on my last video that I think are still very tradable and are just starting to break out. The first one I want to go over is one I actually do own is CSCW. Um, this one is, you can see all the volume that's pouring in and it is still putting pressure on that upper resistance area. It can't bust through just yet, but I think a breakout should be imminent um, because it is holding very tight up against it. And that eight period exponential line is starting to move up. Um, if this one does break back down through and start uh, breaking through these moving averages, that's when I would get out. I'm in this one at about 91 cents, but um, I think a breakout in CSCW is imminent, and I think it could be reaching the uh, previous highs right around $2 if it does break out. So I am hoping this one um, gets going here soon. Um, another one that I talked about was... Let me see if I can get my software to work. There we go. Another one I wanted to talk about was WTI. Some of these um, oil and gas stocks are really starting to look super good. And WTI is just breaking out of that uh, triangle consolidation at the moment. 
So it looks like this one is ready to rock. If it can um, hang around until this eight paired moving average um, catches up to it, um, that could be the um, boost that it needs to get back up here and test this old high right around here, right around uh, $3.95. So more than a 30% move from the current level. As of right now, it's up about 6% on the day. So I think this move is just getting started on WTI. Um, another one I want to talk about is CTRM. I do not own this one. Um, I just wanted to point out how nice this one um, exploded up. Some of the guys in the Patreon have been talking about the maritime sector. And man, you can see all the volume just pouring into this stock. This thing held those old highs perfectly like I like to see. And then it just hung around until that eight period exponential moving average caught up. And this is what you're getting. This is what I uh, like to look for um, when this moving average does catch up. Um, and I talked about that on the previous videos. And this is what's happening. So if any of you guys um, were following CTRM and you waited for that moving average before you bought in, you are having a nice day so far. You're up uh, over 25% at the moment. But um Make sure you look for these patterns because these things work over and over again, especially in a hot market like we've got right now. Um, that's these just these patterns just show up and they seem to work more often than they don't. But um, let's go to the next one, which is OGI. Um, this one is having a massive update, up 38% at the moment, and um, just started building momentum, putting pressure on this uh, resistance area until it had that nice explosion through it. And this thing isn't even waiting for the eight-period exponential moving average. This thing is taking off without it, just showing you how strong um, some of these cannabis stocks have been because... Um, they are just exploding higher. There's a lot of them to look for in this sector. I did put out a video a few uh, days ago going over some of the ones that I liked the best. So you guys can go and check out that video if you want some more ideas on this sector. Um, another one that the guys were talking about in the Patreon and we listed in the video was BORR. -R, and this one is having an explosive day today. Um, it is breaking out. Um, it is up about 14% at the moment, even though it has been been selling off um, during the day. Uh, it looks like it busted out through this new high and is pulling back. So this one, um, it's still holding the highs and it's still holding that gap. So I wouldn't get too worried about it if you were if you were in it. And plus, uh, you have all this nice volume coming in. So that's uh, probably going to feed to more uh, move to the upside. So uh, B O R R is still looking um, super good. Um, another one that we were talking about was Sundial Growers. Sundial Growers is another one in this space, and this one looks like it is pulling back for a potential purchase um, right around this eight period exponential moving average. And that's actually what I am waiting for right now. If this gets down to about a dollar five. I'm probably going to open a position. It looks like it might get there today. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, hopefully, it gets there today so I can. Uh, uh, open a position in this one because I really like this pattern. Tons of volume coming in, busting out of that resistance um, area, and now pulling back to the eight period exponential moving average. All right, the next one I want to go into is GTE, and this one is in the oil and gas sector. And I apologize if I'm going a little too fast. I just don't want this video to drag on too long, and there's so many nice looking charts. I don't want to miss any of them. I want to show as many of them uh, to you guys as I can. But uh, GTE had the big move up on a huge volume, held near the highs until the eight period exponential average. Uh, caught up to it and now it is starting that next leg up so gte is another one in the oil and gas sector that just looks awesome at the moment um, let's go to the next one which is ontx ONTX Therapeutics looks like it's going to be busting through this resistance area. I drew on the chart uh, several days ago. Um, it is exploding through it. It had the nice, had the decent pullback, and it came down right about to that eight period exponential moving average. It is now starting to move higher, so it looks like it's going to push past uh, this resistance. It wouldn't surprise me one bit if it did grind around a little bit until this average got a little bit higher. But uh, ONTX still looks very healthy. Tons of volume coming in and looks like it is headed higher. And the next one I want to show you is Rave. I've talked about this one many times on the channel. This one has been teasing me. Every time it seems like it gets, it gets going, it just like tucks its head back in. But now it has looked like it has finally broken above this resistance area. It has come down and touched it and has bounced back above that eight period exponential moving average. 
And that's exactly what I want to see when the trend starts to accelerate. The trend will start to grind higher. It'll go to a new high, pull back into it, go to kind of a new high, pull back into it. Once it busts through to a new high, comes down and touches the old high. Doesn't go, doesn't retreat back into the old uh, like uh, trend that was going on. It comes down and touches that support level, jumps right back above that eight period exponential moving average. That usually that usually means that the uh, trend is going to hold this time and start to move higher. Um, I do have my doubts because Rave has. Uh, fooled with me a few times in the past but it's absolutely a picture perfect pattern that i like to look for so i wanted to show it to you um rave restaurant group looks really good at the moment and the next one i want to get into is snca um snca is uh, seneca biopharmaceuticals this is another biotech stock so every anytime i see a biotech stock i see a lot of potential because these things uh like a double-edged sword, it can move against you fast, and it can and it can go with you fast. So you have to be prepared for both sides of it. But um, it looks like it is gathering a lot of momentum and starting to move higher. You can see, even though if I zoom in a little bit, you'll see these volume bars a little bit better. Um, you can see a lot of the almost all of the uh, green bars are higher than um, the average daily volume. So that shows you that accumulation is coming in to this stock and. Um, it looks like it is poised to move higher. If we go intraday here, get a little bit better look at this consolidation. You can see it chopping around, just starting to head higher. Um, if we put a trend line on it, you can see that just a little bit better on the intraday chart. Sometimes you can't see it as well on the daily chart. So that's why I like to go to the 15 minute chart. But look at all these huge spikes when um, the when when the stock price went up just huge volume spikes coming in and uh you can't hardly barely see the red volume uh spikes that come in so definitely um definitely demand is outpacing supply and snca so i think this one is poised to move higher all right well right now i want to get into some of the questions um one of the questions was from darth vader the great and I uh, absolutely love that name because not only am I a Star Wars fan, but I am a Las Vegas slash Oakland slash Los Angeles Raiders fan. So uh, you always saw those characters at the Raiders games. Every single Raiders home game was like Halloween. And uh, there was always some guys there with Darth Vader outfits on. So I love that name. But he was uh, his question was, um, you know, what? catalyst am i looking for in these charts and there really isn't a catalyst when i'm looking at these charts what i am looking for it's almost like a csi episode you're kind of like being a detective because um you're looking for a accumulation and especially quiet accumulation because a lot of these big investors um big traders you know they want to come into these stocks with huge positions and they can't just buy it all at one time so they try to they try to hide some of their buys and their and their sells but when they're trying to hide their buys um this is what it looks like on a chart you know they'll have a nice little explosion up then they'll kind of like pull their orders but um the buy and the sells are still on that chart so you're looking for this quiet accumulation you'll, and you'll you'll be surprise that more often than not big news comes out just a little while later you know a perfect example today is ocugen um i've covered this one several times on the channel i've done a couple of videos on it and um I, I think i did it way back over the summer when the uh the volume started coming in and you'll see the volume continue to pour in there'll be a little bit of news but then the big news will come out later and by this time a lot of those big traders that already had all that information um they're already you know these guys are in the know we don't get that information unfortunately and um you know these guys have already built their positions and um you know, this is when the stock starts exploding way higher like this is when they usually start unwinding it. Um, not always. Sometimes they'll be in this for the long term. But a lot of times they see this news coming, you know, weeks or months in advance um, before we get it. And um, they've already built up their positions. And these are the clues that they leave behind. You know, you get like these moves up on big volume. And, and a lot of times there isn't any news on those days. You know, you just kind of get. I mean, we've all seen it like some of these lower price stocks, all of a sudden the stock is up big, you know, and it's these clues that they leave behind, they form these chart patterns. And, 
if you look for these chart patterns i'm telling you if you if you trade them or you buy them you're going to be shocked at how often you know a few weeks or months down the road the huge news comes out and you're just like okay well that's why it was under accumulation because everything else you saw in this company didn't really tell you why it would be uh so heavily accumulated and why it had been trending up you know for a few weeks it's because um people in the know already got that information and they're building their position but um that's the best way i can explain it technical technical analysis is you know it's it's kind of like a sort of like an art form it's it doesn't work 100 percent of the time but if you can see the clues that these bigger traders or institutions are leaving behind, um, it can usually help you find these winners. You know, you can ride their coattails and uh, take the gains right alongside them. And if, you know, the old saying is the CEOs can lie, you know, they can, the accountants can make numbers lies, but you can't hide the buy and the sells um, every day. They are recorded and they are, um, you know, they are recorded on the exchange and you can see them on the charts and if that ever happens where they can hide their buy and the sells on the charts then i am going to be shit out of luck because uh then they're going to be able to manipulate the charts as well or at least or, or at least better than they already do but um that's the best way i can explain it you know a lot of people don't really um use technical analysis i like to use it you know because i can usually see what they're doing because like i said you know they can lie about all different kinds of things but they can't lie about the action on the chart at least not that i know of but um the next question i had was from luke and he was asking me about iqst and wow that's a big move in iqst this is a lower price stock and now it is just getting towards uh, 87 cents a share um tons of volume coming into this one this this trend has gone parabolic so i would be careful getting into this right now um of course in this market it could go higher but um you know when you see three four five huge up days in a row your risk is tremendous when you are buying up around here so um luke if you have been in this stock for a while i would at least uh start trimming some of it if not all of it but if you're looking to enter this stock i personally would wait for a pullback and probably a deeper one because um chances are this one is going to be pulling back pretty soon um I don't know much about this stock. I didn't look into it. I don't even know what they do. So if you know a lot more about this stock and if there's other, you know, big news potentially coming down the road that you've heard of, then maybe you might want to make a decision based on that. But just looking at this chart, this thing has gone absolutely parabolic. Um, from a technical perspective right now, your risk is huge if you are entering today. Um, so I would personally wait for a pullback if you wanted to get into this one. All right. And the last one I had was JN sh oops jnsh and this one looks a lot better this one was the comment was left by najid <laughs> sorry if i said that name wrong i'm almost 100 percent certain i said that wrong n-a-d-e-g-e -E, um left me a question for jnsh and uh, this is more of what I like to see. Pull back to this 8 period exponential moving average and the 21 period. And it is starting to move higher. This one looks in the beginning stages of its move up. It is only a $0.04 cent stock. So, um, you know, you can see all the volume coming in. It looks like a healthy uptrend to me. And this is just about when I like to buy it. I mean, if I could have bought um, the day before or maybe the day before that, I'd been a little bit more excited about it. But this isn't too much higher so jnsh as a beautiful looking pattern and um if you've been watching my videos um you know that i like this type of pattern and maybe that's why you're asking me just you want a little bit more confirmation but um i think this is a great chart so a uh, very healthy looking pattern all right guys well that's all i have for this one but if you have any questions or comments on any of these stocks please don't hesitate to leave them down there in the comment section and i will get back to you as soon as i can uh, please hit the like button if you enjoyed the content and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already so don't miss any future trading opportunities um, thank you so much for watching my video all the way to the end and until next time take care everybody